Pandora friends, my name is Leanne and I'm Mad for Pandora. Welcome back to another video. As you can see today in front of me, I have my beautiful bee bracelet. Now I'm calling this my bee happy bracelet and it definitely makes me happy. The colors are just so beautiful and vibrant and it's just such a nice bracelet to wear. Now I also have accessories, so I will be showing you those as well. But yeah, it's just definitely a beautiful bracelet. Now I do have this on a size 18 moments oxidized bracelet, as you can see. And normally I like to have quite a stiff bracelet and this one is quite well worn and nice and flexible but I find it still fits me really, really well. Now the safety chain I have on this is just the old daisy safety chain. Now I do like the shape of these safety chains. I think they look really good. They are very comfortable and they fit well with the um, barrel style clasp and the oxidized detail. Now you may have got one of these if you bought one before they retired that wasn't oxidized in the flowers. Now they are actually legit um, if you do buy them pre-loved. They, for some reason they used to be very oxidized and then they made them not so oxidized and then they didn't do any oxidizing in them so I do like when they're oxidized and this one's not super dark but it's still really really beautiful but yeah it's one of my favorite safety chains now the spacer I have on here it has a couple of different names um, twice as nice or sparkling forest flower now the reason I have these at the end of my bracelet is because they are threaded. Now it is really good to get a threaded spacer and it's quite rare, especially nowadays you wouldn't expect to get one but the old style ones are really good and these have clear cubic zirconias. There is another version, I think it's purple and I'm not sure if there was a pink one. I have a feeling there was a pink one as well. But these are just the clear ones and they go with everything. So they're really good. I do have two pairs of these, I believe. <laughs> Bit crazy that I don't remember. No, I think I do. Okay, the next one is the Pandora Shine Golden Honey. Now, this is gorgeous. Now when Pandora first brought in their shine collection, I was a little bit hesitant of it, but I did get a couple of pieces being the B set and it seemed to work quite well. So before they retired, I did buy the Honey Pot and honestly, it's probably one of my favorites. I just love the dripping honey down the sides and the beautiful hexagon pattern. I really love this one. And the color of the enamel they use was just beautiful. Now the next spacer I have is just called a trinket spacer. I mean, there may be other names for it. I think I've heard it called the tire spacer, but it's not threaded or anything, but I like that it's got the beaded detail and this next one is honestly a very understated charm because look at the detail on it. It's just crazy. It's absolutely beautiful. The flowers and the lines and there's like micro beading and stuff in the lines. It's just insane the detail in this charm. And it's got the beaded detail at the sides. I think this was a fairly cheap charm and it is a mummy charm. So I do believe it came out for Mother's Day a few years back, but 
I don't have this on here to represent my kids. I have this on here to represent Bundy. And I will show you why. Because he has a little bee outfit and it's so, so cute. Now, I bought this recently from Bigger Little Dogs. Definitely not sponsored by them or anything. But how cute is this? See all the little bee little pictures. It's got the same colours. Now he has a harness to match, which is adorable. And I have a hair tie that matches as well. So when we go out places, especially to the beach and stuff, we dress up the same, <laughs> you could say. And he's just so cute and he definitely makes me happy. So I sort of think of this bracelet as his bracelet <laughs> but um yeah it's just so so cute so I love this little charm on here but this one here is called panda or shine sweet as honey and this was bought I think on release day in Australia now I do love how they've got the little CZs around it and this one has a tiger's eye in it. Now I don't really know what that is apart from it's like a sort of a browny color stone and it kind of looks like honey. So I think that it's great and it's just really beautiful. Now it does have a little tiny bee dangling off it. I kind of wish this bee had a had like black enamel on it I think it would have stood out a bit better but it's such a beautiful charm it's quite heavy actually and if you look at the bottom the way they've done it, it's just like circle 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 all the way around and it does have cute coneys along the top and it's wearing quite well it's um I've had it well since it came out so it's a few years and um, yeah, it's just really, really nice. I did sort of struggle of how I was gonna wear it when I first got it. Um, I did put it like as a pendant, but it was weird because the one that I wanted to use as a pendant because of the pendant veil was the other little bee, but this one was the one that had the charm veil, so. I love what I've done with it now. Now this one here is a very old charm and I do have two of them. Now this one's called the Evening Floral Open Works. Now back in the day Pandora didn't do a lot of threadless charms and these ones were really good because you could wear them on the earring barrels how beautiful is this like look at the detail and they've all got the little 14 karat gold dots in them and there is a fake that gets around of this one so be very very careful if you are buying it I'll try and give you a good little look at it because these little stems are sort of what gives it away to being a fake or not. Um, just trying to think where the markings are. I think the markings might actually be inside, so I won't be able to show you that. Can't quite remember. And then these clips, one of them was my original clip of my original bracelet, so it's very old. And then I bought one a number of years ago. Now these are quite popular and they used to come with the starter bracelet, but that's not when I got mine. And they're just called the Sunburst Clip. And they've got the 14 karat gold in the center. 
Now the reason I put these on here is because, well, I like the stripes because it sort of broke everything up, but being sun and bees and all that, it's all very appropriate. Just think it looks really good together. And then this next one here is fairly new actually, like I think it's still in the collection, correct me if I'm wrong. But I love how they've used the cubic zirconias in the actual wings. So it's not a very blingy charm, but they still use the cubic zirconias. And I love how they've added like the black enamel to the bee with the beaded detail. And then of course the bail is just that pendant style bail with the beaded detail. Now I really, really love this charm. And on the back, it's just the way they've done it, it's just such an amazing charm. It's very, very tasteful and I love how the wings are like out. Now my centerpiece also has these beautiful grain charms. Now these are called Radiant Grains of Energy and like look at the detail on the side. Now this one, these ones, it took me quite a long time to get them and I think they already retired and I bought them in the last chance sale type thing. But look at the detail, like little cubic zirconias around the outside and if you look at the prongs they're not all the same. You do have to be careful like if you're wearing a sweater I'm not sure if it would get caught. It's sort of fairly rub over. I haven't really had a problem with them but like the colour of the cubic zirconia they put in the middle is just amazing. Now I haven't been one of those people well, a lot of you guys are that absolutely loved the heart version of this style of thing. I can't even think what they're called, but I don't know. I'm not really into a lot of blingy sort of stuff. And when I first got these, I thought, hmm, I didn't think they were as blingy as they are. But I think with this bracelet, it sort of, it really tones them down, but adds that pop of sort of color and sparkle to the front. I just, I think they're just an amazing charm. Like if you own these, just hold on to them because they're just so, so beautiful. And they really make this bracelet. Now the next two spaces that I have in the center are called the black pansy. Now they don't really look like the pansies they've got out nowadays and they are just a black cubic zirconia but they're sort of like an oversized spacer. I'm not sure whether they necessarily deem them as a spacer but they're definitely pretty big. Now they are different to the other ones because the other ones don't have any um, cubic zirconias in them and there was a pink version of these as well but I love these and I bought these as a pair for a ridiculous price on eBay a while back, quite a long time actually. And the one I have in the middle is called the Viola. And um, it does have the gold, 14 karat gold center pieces, and it is a black spinel. So even though it sort of goes with these spaces, it is a bit different and it is really nice. It does, I believe this bale is threaded and it's pretty plain. But it's just really, really nice. Kind of like how it sits in the middle. And look at the back of it. It's, even though it's plain, it's such a nice shape. But 
you know me, I love my old, especially flower charms, just, I don't know, I've got way more flower charms than I have hearts, which is probably why I like these, because these are very nature orientated, and I don't have a lot of just heart sort of shape things. Now, next along we have the old shine bee. Now this one is retired and see the difference with this bee. It's got its wings open and the cubic zirconias are on the actual wings. Whereas this one here, it's got its wings down and it's got the cubic zirconias on the actual bee. So I think that's pretty cool and I like how they did them different but they still go together and they've got the same shape bale even though they're a different color so i love that but yeah this one here and this one here we got when they were first released now i have another sunburst clip and another evening floral now this one here is really cool and it is retired as well but it's got one of the flip up bits and I really love this one because it's got like the B and it's got one little line of black enamel like it's kind of hard to see <laughs> I think they could have put more enamel on that but the inscription of this is really cool it says hopefully you can read it we belong so it actually spelt it as B instead of just belong and it says together so i think that's really really cool and i love that it has the second little bee and then it has the honeycomb it's a very nice charm i do think it hangs a bit funny though it always has and i have seen other people's and theirs tends to do that a bit too so i guess that's what it's meant to be like that's very cool. So this one here is actually called Hearts and Bees, which isn't really an exciting name, I guess, but it makes sense. <laughs> now this one here is the reason why I call this my Be Happy bracelet. So it says Be Happy, literally, and then it has the little bee in the top. Now, when I saw this charm, I thought this is absolutely gorgeous it's so simple but so detailed at the same time and I feel like it's almost another one of those that are understated and overlooked for the more blingier charms but honestly when you're creating a bracelet you do need charms of all sorts like you need feature charms you need you know, like if you want cubic zirconia ones, the lights and the darks and the colours and the tones and the oxidised detail, it all plays a part. And that's, you know, what I really love about designing is just trying to get that blend right. Now this one does say Pandora on it. And as you can see, some of the little hexagon patterns are actually little hearts just such a lovely lovely charm and it's got the bit of detail on the sides so I did find that this one here and the mummy charm they're the same shape same style they've got the bit of detail and all the details around the top I think they are a perfect pair without having to have two of the same Mind you, there's times I wish I had have got two of these B ones. And then I have another one of the little trinket spacer. And then this one here is just the shine sun. Now I really do like this one. 
So it's got a little heart in the middle on both sides. So if it spins, it doesn't matter. It's got the cubic zirconias along the side. And I like the shape of this. I actually really like the shape. I think it's pretty cool. And I love the way they did the enamel work. And I love how well it goes with the honey pot as far as color and texture. I mean, obviously the shapes are a little bit different, but I do find that they balance each other out, especially because you've got the shine bit around the outside, the same as that. And then obviously the spacer. So, Definitely a bracelet that I feel is complete and I don't intend to change it in any way. I love it. It took me a long time to get it the way I just, oh, I just love it. <laughs> yeah, it's just amazing. Um, sorry if my voice is a little bit croaky today. I was sick for about a week and a half, so little bit slow on getting my videos out since then. Okay, now I also have my essence bracelet and of course this has the bees and the sun, so goes with the theme. And then I have my reflections bracelet. Now I did buy three of these clips. So I have two on my watch and then I have the little locket charm petite. Um, so I did buy this, I don't know what you call it, um, charm off my daughter and it's pretty good for putting on your reflections bracelet. Now I will pop the bracelet on to show you. Now, because this is a little bit looser, this bracelet, I do wear it above the other bracelets. And then the idea is that the middle piece sort of goes between the two charms and then the others go on the outside. So it's hard with my arm up this way to actually give you the full effect, but hopefully you'll get the idea. And then of course I have my rings. So this one's like the wheat one, which having the wheat charms on here, and then the bees and the flowers, and this has got the sun and the bees. So I think it goes pretty well together. I don't always wear the reflections bracelet with it. Sometimes I stack like the beaded bracelet or something else with it. And then I've just got the flowers and I love the November ring because it just has that vibe of being honey, doesn't it? It's amazing. Um, I do, oh. I do have the matching earrings for this. So I wear those. And I usually wear these together. And then I can wear this pendant here. I won't go through all the names of the pendants and accessories. So that all goes really well as one set. If I want to make it a more dressed up set, but if I just want to make it like more quirky and fun and minimalist, I have been wearing this little necklace. Now this is an old Pandora one that's been retired for a while. I love the shape of the chain. So it's got cubic zirconias on one side and plain on the other. But anything that's got the hexagon shape, I really love. So this one can move in the chain, which is what I like because 
It means when you adjust it, you don't have to worry about it being off center. And at the end, a little bee on the end, it's so cute. Such a nice little touch and you can't take the pendant off it obviously because it's stuck on there and it's one of those ones that you can pull to make it longer or shorter so I think that's really cool and then I have the matching little earrings which you may remember if you've watched my earring videos so I really like those and then I've been wearing these because they have the same sort of effect in my face. So they're really old flow earrings. I think they go pretty well. So I have two, um, you know, sets that I can wear with this bracelet and um, yeah, I do really enjoy wearing it. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my B set and you know, like it just it's just so such a fun and happy bracelet to wear and sort of makes you happy just wearing it. So until next time, take care. Mm -hmm.